Hi, Frankie. What are you doing here? Going crazy right now, bruh. I need your help. What's going on now, Captain OMG? I need somebody cool to write about for the school blog and I have to turn in a story by tomorrow. Okay, you know I got you. So, who are you looking to do your report on? Well, this month, I'd like to do something on a cool woman from history. You know what, bruh? You came to the right place. I have the perfect lady for you. Come with me to the time machine. Okay, Chills. I can't wait to see who you have. Well, you won't have to wait much longer because I'm bringing Eleanor Roosevelt from the past. Eleanor Roosevelt? What does she do? Eleanor Roosevelt is known as one of the most famous first ladies married to President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. She was not just known as the wife to the president, but also a politician, diplomat, and activist for civil and women's rights. This should be good. Hi, Mrs. Roosevelt. Welcome to Freshburg. Oh, my. I think I may have taken a wrong turn. You're at a school. I'm at a school? My assistant didn't tell me I would be speaking at a school today. I would have worn something different, maybe a little more dressy. Yes, Mrs. Roosevelt, you're in the future. We brought you here today because we wanted to tell other kids about you. You want to tell other kids about me? What did you want to tell them? Well, for starters, can you tell us when you were born? Of course I can, young man. I was born on October the 11th, 1884 in New York City. Okay, cool. Now, what was it like for you as a kid? Well, young man, as a child, things were not always easy. My parents died when I was very young, and my grandmother sent me off to boarding school in England. That sounds awful. It was at first until I had some encouragement from the headmistress at the school that helped me to not be afraid and be confident. That is awesome. So how did you meet your husband? Well, after returning to the United States, I met Franklin. He was so nice, and before long, we fell in love. We were married on March 17th, 1905, and at my wedding, most brides get walked down the aisle by their father, but not me. Who walked you down the aisle, Mrs. Roosevelt? I was walked down the aisle by my uncle, President Theodore Roosevelt. So how did your husband become the president? Well, Franklin was very busy in politics. Many people knew him, and I spent time raising our children until Franklin got sick. What happened? Franklin became ill with a disease called polio. We feared he would die for some time, but he did not. What a relief. Yes, it was, Franklin. But we did not give up on his dreams. He kept on working in politics, and that is where I began to help him. That is so cool, Mrs. Roosevelt. What was it like in the White House? Well, during that time, we were dealing with the Great Depression. What is that? During the Great Depression, it was a bad time for people because there were no jobs and people lost everything. That is so sad. In my first year in office, I received many letters from families. This is where we worked on creating programs to help people, like the Works Progress Administration. What was the Works Progress Administration? The Works Progress Administration helped working mothers with child care expenses and provided food and clothes to programs that helped poor children. That is so cool, Mrs. Roosevelt. I see here online your husband created the New Deal with programs to help Americans hurting from the Great Depression. Yes, not long after the world was at war in World War II. I did not sit still, but traveled helping others with the Red Cross outside of the U.S. You are really busy. Yes, I was. After my husband died, I was so sad. It was hard for me, but I had to keep doing what he wanted, so I represented the United States at the United Nations. I also worked to improve human rights and became an author. Thanks, Mrs. Roosevelt. It was so cool learning about your life. You are welcome. Well, I'd better get back. Duty calls. Chills, she was so cool. 
I know everybody at school will love my blog now. I know they will too. And remember, when it comes to learning, it's just a matter of time.